Hello, everybody. Rodney Kellum, Mr. Silly and Sincere, a.k.a. The Thopreneur. And I would like to thank you, first and foremost, for giving me the most valuable commodity on earth, which is your time. Now, let me set my intention right away. Then the purpose of this training, this live training, Blogging for Passion and Profit, is to help you, uh, my fellow entrepreneurs, my fellow passionate people that are out there that have been seeing my posts and say, I want to learn how to turn what I do on a daily basis, like posting to Facebook, Twitter, uh, talking about what I really care about, and turn it into something bigger, turn it into an actual business. Um, and so before I really get into the nooks and crannies of it all, I'll give you just a little bit of a backstory and why I do what I do. Um, I've been in Atlanta, Atlanta area since 2005, so nine years now. Well, I'm getting older. Um, and I've been in the broadcasting industry. I've been in the sale, home electronic sales industry the entire time. I've worked, you know, the 80-hour work weeks. I've worked the 100-hour work weeks. I've worked the two jobs at one time. Um, and I, I used to have this mindset, you know, I was going to be a, become a video editor no matter what it took. You know, I'm married. I have a son. And when I finally became a video editor, finally became a video editor after, after years of hard work, after college, after determination, I was at work one day and my video editing job was so coveted. And I was sitting at my desk and I just felt real dizzy. You know, like, okay, I just need some water. Maybe I ate too much, ate too much salt. And as I'm walking down the hallway to go get some water, I lose my balance. I'm like, okay, take a deep breath. And I just couldn't gain my balance. I said, something's wrong. And I'm, I'm a former college athlete. I'm actually representing my school right now. I'm in and basketball. That's me. But I knew something was wrong with my body because this had never happened before. So long story short, I go to the hospital and find out the main left artery in my heart was closing. Because I've been working for so hard for so long that I neglected my family, neglected my, my, my body, neglected my health, and was simply just ignoring everything else because I was so laser focused on what I thought was success and what I thought was important. You know, and, and I had a few rock bottom moments with unemployment. I've been through it. I made it. But I had a moment of just it's time to do something and be something better. When I had two family members pass away at the same time, one in Las Vegas, one in New Jersey, aunt in Vegas, uncle in Jersey. And I have to speak with my, my grandmother. She's told me to go to Vegas, but I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money for plane tickets. I didn't have any money for, for really anything. So unlike my, my normal self, I, put, I swallowed the pride pill. I begged for money. I got enough money to buy a standby ticket. I don't know if you, any, any of you have uh, flown on standby, but you are not the top priority. People who pay with credit cards, people who pay the full price for tickets are. So I get bumped and bumped and bumped to the point of, I had to spend the night in Hartford Jackson Airport. Now I'm six foot seven. I know you can't tell that from the video. Those little benches aren't very comfortable. So as I'm laying on the bench at Hartford Jackson Airport and just absolutely sick of my situation, knowing that my family needs me, and I, I'm risking not being able to get to the funeral of my aunt, and actually I never do. I, I, I missed the entire funeral because of being bumped. I made my decision on that bench in Hartsville Jackson Airport that Never again should I nor will I be in the situation where if my family needs me, you know, no matter where they are in the world, I, I will be there for them, period. And a plane ticket is just a piece of paper. What, why should money be the obstacle for me doing what needs to be done for my loved ones, for anywhere that I'm just needed, period. So I made my decision then and there. I've got to get in the business. I've got to build a business. And I already had uh, access to what it was. I was just being prideful, being. And I hope by the information I give you tonight, it's enough for you to say, you know what, I, I understand, Rodney. I relate. And I've had enough of not being able to do whatever it is that, I, that you want to do. Whatever is that passion, that vision, that dream that you have. Let's get going tonight, and I'm going to give you instruction on how to do that at the end of the training. So, let's get down to it. Blogging for passion and profit. So, you can really mix both, but let's, you know, we're going to take two groups of people. Um, those that are in it for money and those that are in it for 
you know, a, a cause. And I know some do both, but let's just keep them separated. So let's say you already have a business, right? Um, whatever it is, you could sell pet rocks, you know, just being super silly and simple. If you have pet rocks and you want to sell pet rocks and make it a profitable business, what you must do is find the people who like pet rocks. What this is called is finding your niche, finding your avatar, finding your market. There's a saying with the company I'm involved with, if you market to everybody, you're marketing to nobody. You're just wasting your breath. You're covering a big blanket over places that may not have anybody who's interested in your stuff, period. And you're wasting your time. And believe me, through child and error, I've done a lot of time wasting. So what I'm going to show you first, uh, let me try this. Now, sometimes when I use a screen uh, capture, it acts a little silly, but just give me a moment. I'm going to show you a wonderful tool that you absolutely must use um, in your business. And when it's time to find your niche, this does it. So let me let me see here one moment. Yeah, but let me try this. I'm doing screen share. All right. So uh, Dorian, if you're out there, and you can hear me. Uh, I just want you to confirm that you you can see what I'm doing. I'm now in adword.google.com I'm actually going to text him. He's my, my backup to make sure um, I'm doing what I think I'm doing because I can't see what you see. Uh, hold on one second, folks. I'm just double checking. And if you can just put it in the comments, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, you can make a comment now and I'll see it. So that would be of great assistance. So what? Uh, I, you know, I don't think I don't think you can see me. Yeah, you did. Okay, great. So I'm back. All right. So AdWords.Google.com. Now, if you don't, let me backtrack. If you don't have a pen and paper, a pencil and paper, something to write with, take notes on. Get it now. I'll give you a few seconds. Take a sip of water while I'm doing it. AdWords.Google.com. Now, what this is, and it's free. You know, don't have to pay anything for it. Um, of course, they want you to do, use their AdWords campaign, which is their paid advertising system. But what's in here is the Keyword Planner tool. It's under AdWords.Google.com, Tools, Keyword Planner. This tool um, is probably the most powerful tool for targeting my niche. All right, so um, let's just give it a second. A second, a little silly. I got a, you know, I got Firefox and Google Chrome open at the same time, and they store what's going on on my computer. Uh, oh no, no, no. Search for new keyword and ad groups. So once I get in here, you're gonna see why I use what I use. If this thing will just do what I tell it to do. So, I use, I use the example of pet rocks, which I don't think has been popular since the 70s. Right? Well, the, the type in pet rock. So, what this is going to do is going to give you ideas and related keywords. So, when people search pet, pet rocks, um, there's other things that they search. And I go over the ideas. There's ad group ideas and keyword ideas. You want to go to keyword ideas. So, the term pet rock averages 9,900 searches a month and it has low competition, meaning there's not many people um, advertising or going after that keyword. So if you're going to get content like your blog or your or like YouTube videos, wanting them to rank on the first page of Google and YouTube, you have a higher chance. But uh, what's good is that it gets a lot of views. You'd be amazed at how many people like pet rocks. Now what would you see below it? Pet rocks. USB pet rock, pet rock for sale. These are the related keywords. Now, this is how you really target your niche. Um, so you can take in pet rocks and USB pet rock. You want those keywords to be, um, however you're going to title your, your blog or video, you want these words to be in your blog. So you see here, how to make a pet rock. This only has 210 searches, um, but low competition. Now, this may throw you off a little bit. 
sometimes, and a lot of the times actually, the lower the number, the better. You know why? Uh -huh. The lower the number means, uh, if you also look at how many words are in that, how to make a pet rock versus pet rock, the more words someone types into a Google search or a YouTube search, the closer they are to making a purchase. If you just do pet rock, you might just be doing it for research. But if you're searching how to make a pet rock, you're about to get down to business. So let me go to Google real quick if I can make a you know, cooperate me. Uh, and I'm just going to show you when you start type typing in Google how to make a pet rock and what comes up. And so you can see, have an example of what you're up against. How to make a pet rock. See, now I'll stop right here real quick because you see it already is showing you, you know, autofill giving you other um, keywords is giving you how to make a pet rock, how to make a pet rock leash, how to make a pet rock box, how to make a pet rock turtle. These are things that are even further, you know, drilled down into your niche. But we'll just stick with pet rock for now. And so what comes up? Images, you know, how to make a pet rock, uh, how to make a pet rock family. So you know, these are things that people search. How to make a pet rock. So if you're going to write a blog post, you know, just just use your imagination and just substitute your own titles and keywords in for what I'm doing. Now, I don't know if you, I'm not in my Google Chrome right now because I actually use another tool. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but you just, you know, click on number one because most people when they're searching for stuff don't go to the second page. So you want your stuff to rank on the first page of Google and YouTube. And actually there's a training available if you join me in business um, on how to do that on a consistent basis. I use the training. It's magnificent. Excuse me. About dot com's family crafts. Um, so you let's look take a look at what they do. Now automatically a pet rock. It's right there. The search engines are looking for what the search engines are trying to meet uh, match the solution to the problem they're finding. People want to know how to make make a pet rock. Hey, about dot com has a post about how to make a pet rock. Now if you keep drilling down into what they have. Right away, up top, if you read, it says a pet rock. So pet rock is a, is a keyword. It's in there. Um, you know, this is a really simple post. Now, there's other things to getting your stuff ranked on Google, um, and I just I just can't give it all away because I pay a lot of money and spend a lot of time on training. You know, I'm just trying to give you good nuggets so you can get busy in business right now. Um, let's see, let me get back to business here and get back to my. And let's see, in screen. There, and I'm back. So, so I gave you a little bit of nuggets about keywords. So, what you want to do is you want to gather a whole bunch of keywords, not just one, not just two, because when you have one keyword, you want to include the other related keywords as well in your blog. So I'm going to do uh, let me go to my do another screen share real quick and show you um, my blog fatherprintership.com. Um, more than likely, if you're watching this, you've already probably seen it. Um, so I'll just go to it right now. It's it's really pretty, I think. And fatherpreneurship.com. You know, Dorian, if you ever can't see what I'm doing, just send me a quick text. But this is fatherpreneurship.com. Now, what most people don't know is it didn't take me minutes and hours and months to set this up. I had something that was plug and play. It's a system that I leverage, and assist leveraging systems is like, you know, choosing not to reinvent the wheel. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time with trial and error, um, trying to figure things out on your own and getting frustrated and just stopping because it's just not coming. And when I made my decision on the bench, I decided to leverage a system called Empower Network. And here's why. I give you plug and play tools so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So the blog is highly customizable. You can add your own banners, you add your own artwork, as you can see you know, right there. The guy right there on the left looks familiar. Um, I had you know, a banner made for me. Actually, someone who works with me closely helped hook me up. 
And the picture you see on the right hand side of this guy holding this beautiful baby boy, that's me and my son when he was very young. It's one of my favorite pictures and it really encapsulates the, the movement that I call fatherpreneurship. And um, that's my niche. That's who I, I mainly target, even though people watching this may not be fathers, may not even be men. Um, that's, that's what I target. I target men that are burned out, men that are tired of being absent from their, their loved one's life, wives, children, nephews, nieces. Um, you know, you don't have to have biological children of yourself to be a father. You can be a mentor. But if you're just tired, tired of missing out like I was, tired of, you know, dying to pursue a career and leaving in the morning when your child was asleep and coming home when he's doing the same or she's doing the same, then you understand what I mean and why I have so much passion about what I call fatherpreneurship. So, you, you have, I'm going to give you a look at, you know, you're looking at, you probably went to this blog to see um, this, you know, the, the training. Looks like maybe Dorian is texting me. Let's see if uh, I've got All right. So good. So, blogging for passion and profit live training. So, it's really, um, actually, let me, let me go ahead and log in so you can see live. I want you to see live um, how you can do this. And I'm just going to do like a little test, test blog post. With images and stuff that I already have, you know, you can embed videos. You can make tags. Uh, luckily, I don't have to enter anything special. You go see my magic password. Or for all you hackers out there, so this is the back system. Now, let me let me make this clear. A viral blogging system is different than just a blog like a WordPress blog, which are great blogs, by the way, or a Blogspot blog. Whatever you may be using, or even just your Facebook page or Twitter, a property domain. So it's sort of like building. House. You have a choice between building your house on a foundation of, uh, of of solid ground, or you have a choice of building your blog on a place that has is a marsh. And you have to do infill with land with cement and rock to make it sturdy, which means you've got to do more of the work. So I didn't have to do a whole bunch of work. So as you can see here, what all i got to do is quick. You have four choices, text, uh, sound, image, or video. And you can actually mix all the both. Now, just, you know, if you don't use a Power Network blog, use your own blog, that's fine. I just want to show you a few, a few tools and how, how quick you can make a you know, wonderful blog. So um, let's say live training test. Still working on my, my typing and talking skills. All right, so right away, I'm going to just add media. Looks like a little mountain symbol pops up. All right, and uh, image. Here we go. Upload from from gallery because I've already put stuff in there. I can just use pictures that I've used already. And since I've already started running my mouth about fatherhood, this is one of you know a great picture. Um, uh, the Pursuit of Happiness, one of my favorite books, first and foremost, and one of my favorite movies. I got, I got an image already embedded. And if you're not using images in your blog post to grab people's attention, you are missing out on so much traffic. If I could just shake you right now, I would. If you could hear me shaking. Use, you know, uh, capturing, mesmerizing, you know, attention-grabbing photos in your blog. Because people are scrolling through timelines and Twitter feeds and uh, going through social media groups, and they see a bunch of whole bunch of the same things. So to stand out, you got to do things that other people aren't doing, like using images. So you know, Will Smith reads to Jaden. I think he has a Y in there. I'm not sure. You know, now you can just leave that blank and blah blah blah. But very quickly, you can turn blank and drab into beautiful things. So um, if you don't know what H1 tags, H2, and H3, you don't really have to. But just know that making your uh, titles big and red and bold makes people want to keep reading below what your picture says. You know, if I would have stopped there and had Will Smith read to Jaden in his regular text, he would be like, eh, eh, whatever, I've seen the movie, and I'm off. Will Smith is Jaden in red, and you're ready to roll. Okay, what what is else is, is this guy or gal talking about? So you can you know center, you can 
all your terms right here. Now, what, what's really cool about this is if you're really serious about business and blogging, um, you know that maybe every, uh, and every time you're not going to be able to sit down on a computer and do what you want to do. The cool thing about the viral blogging system is it is mobile, meaning from your phone. There is an app. You can do a quick t uh, talk to text on your phone, write a blog. You can do a quick audio post. You can do images from your phone, from Google, right off from your phone. Now, every, I don't really know anybody else who offers that, but let's just get back down to um, the mechanics on, and how to make it profitable. So when you're writing a blog, when you're making a blog, there's a simple formula that you want to follow, and it goes like so. P A S. All right. So let me just make that big too. And I know most of you are like, "What? Which pass, dude?" P stands for problem. You have to address your target market's problem. My target market, being burned out dads or absent, is how do I make more time, especially depending on what kind of career I have. How can I be more available and present in my children's life. If you're going after the pet rock people, how do I get those people who have no pets? How do I get them to get their baby pet rocks? All right. So that's actually going to lead me to agitation. Agitation is you state the problem. You know what problem they have, but then you you tell a story that makes them understand that you can connect with what they're going through. So like for me, for instance, fellow fathers, um, tired of missing out on your child's activities. I remember a time that when I used to go to work and was pursuing my career gung-ho, that I would leave when my son was asleep. I would come home from work and he was doing the same, completely missing out on all of his activities, missing, you know, growing in his first teeth, almost missing his first steps. His mom would have to fill me in on what his day was full of. Now, if you can relate to what I'm saying, then here's solution. People want a solution. They know the problem. Now they've connected with you because you have a story similar to them. You've agitated like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know what he's talking about. What is the solution? Now, for me, being a former workaholic, being a former two-job person, being someone who was dying to pursue his career, I had to realize the value of my time and trading it for a little or to not enough money wasn't working. So my solution was to find a way that I could work full-time. You know, here's, let me write this out. Work full-time earning an income. Now, I'm not the genius who came up with this. Jim Rohn was, it was a great uh, motivational speaker who, who coined this phrase. Work full-time earning an income and work part-time earning a fortune. A fortune. I'm telling you, I missed a G over there. Let me just go back in. I'm at the, uh, I miss letters sometimes. Most people do not grasp nor, nor receive or accept the, the truth that the wealthiest people don't spend all their time working. They have what's called passive income. And I still spell earn on which is okay. Passive income is where you work one time on something and it continues to produce revenue. Much like, you know, investments in, in cash, stocks, bonds, um, you know, uh, investing in gold, whatever, you know, dividends and all these things. That's just a simple example. But if you, what if you could buy something once and resell it over and over and over again without having to do the work again? See, along with being a broadcast professional, I've also been a home electronics salesperson. And I've worked on full commission jobs where if you don't sell, you don't earn. You know, I've sold $3,000 TVs like they were hotcakes, but my commission was only $100, $150, maybe $200. Now, you do the percentage on that. So... Now, if you're ready to work smarter instead of harder, you're going to take your blog and use that as your automation tool. Now, if you follow the past strategy, problem, agitation, solution, how does the money come in? What you're going to need, this is what you need.
you need a low cost introductory offer low cost introductory offer all right let's say your offer is $25 per month 24 for 25 dollars a month this so-and-so whatever your target market is your product solves a problem right so your low cost introductory offer now what you do what you want to do with the offer um, if you think about it like a uh, like Black Friday for you know in the US where we have Black Friday the day before things or day after Thanksgiving all the papers advertise some really inexpensive TV some really inexpensive clothing something to get you in their store but what's waiting what's waiting for you is an automatic upsell an automatic upsell is something that's right next door to your low-cost product that costs twice to three times as much uh, money three times as much money and I hope you all can see what I'm when I'm typing that's uh, so maybe a little bit small I apologize but automatic upsell now what you don't want to do because if you're thinking like in a brick-and-mortar mindset uh, you can bring as many people to you as you want but let's say they're just not ready to buy that day but your stuff was cool oh, they want to come back but life takes over they spend their money on something else that comes up like you know they need gas or they're fixing fixing or something you need an auto responder what is an auto responder Rodney you may know it as uh, names like constant contact um, get response or a Weber I use a Weber and what a Weber does or anything is with your low cost introductory offer um, direct them to your lead capture page and your lead capture page says hey if you want more low cost introductory offers like this I'll in your email or your you know your email and name or whatever but it's best to have an email and ask for your best email because people put in their junk emails because the information will come there right so what you've done is you've begun doing something that is a million dollar technique and I know this because millionaires taught this to me personally. The lead capture page and building your list enables you to continue to convey your message just like Groupon. Everyone knows what Groupon is. And in order to get access to Groupon, you must absolutely enter in your email. Because they're constantly sending you emails about the next latest and greatest offer. Hey, maybe you'll like this because they know your likes because you clicked on an image or uh, a deal for something and they're going to send you stuff related to that and sometimes they upsell you into stuff that's a little more expensive hey if you like those tickets to the studio movie grill for six dollars wouldn't you like to buy a package for twelve dollars for four movies you know and two hot dogs excuse me I had to get a little water so your lead capture page helps you build a list and if you're really smart you'll have an auto response campaign are already set up so that means every day um, every week maybe in a newsletter format uh, they're constantly on a regular basis getting information from you hopefully you're doing it every day um, you know you can have I have like 30 something messages already set up in my my stuff personally done most of them personally done by me um, I had some really intelligent people who were are, are my support group uh, set up some really nice ones, but they're all tailored to my message toward the people who who opt into my list. So let's do a recap because I don't want to keep you up all night or whenever you're watching this, I don't want to take up all of your time. I simply want to add some value that you can take right now, implement in your business or cause. You know, let me let me talk up to the people who have a cause. Um, use the same technique because your cause. You know, maybe you're a mentor. I mentor. Uh, maybe you are a big one about pet adoption or actually human adoption. Maybe you have a great cause, it's Earth Day, and you want to get the word out about, say, protecting the environment. You can use the same techniques, the PAS, 
a problem agitation solution format. The low cost introductory offer could be, hey, uh, join us for a free Google Hangout um, talking about how you can protect the environment. And the upsell is, hey, uh, you know, donate to the cause here. That's your upsell. You know, you know, using this blog, using blogs uh, for business is actually more valuable than a static website because a blog is updating all the time. And because you're offering a solution, the search engine is saying, hey, this blog over here has been updated regularly for over 90 days, and they keep talking about the same topic. Hey, let's uh, show people their solution because I think they have the answer to what they're looking for. So, recap real quick, problem agitation solution, low cost introductory offer, and automatic upsell. Now, you know, also the, the, the lead capture page and the autoresponder is an absolute must if you're serious about growing your business. And for AWeber, uh, it's like a dollar for the first month and $20 for the rest of the month, and it is an absolute value. You can use your phone as well. Um, so I'll just briefly wrap it up with the Empower Network blog. Once again, it's a viral blogging system. Uh, if you're thinking about WordPress and Blogspot, I highly recommend you consider the, the viral blogging system uh, first and foremost um, because there's nothing else out there like it. Um, for $25, which is the actual cost per month of the viral blogging system, um, you have a customizable, customizable, I'm going to bring it back to reality real quick, so let me just uh, screen capture. Um, and just show my wonderful, somewhat semi-handsome face. Um, so for $25 a month, you get a viral blogging system, meaning the people already within Empower Network can like, share, and comment on your stuff. Search engines are loving that. Not only that, but you get so much training. Um, I'm a part of a group called the Dream Team, and the Dream Team already has in place an actual training website. All for $25. You can't find stuff for this especially for a business, uh, for $25. Uh, a training website on how to do marketing strategies, lead capture pages, um, access to a private Facebook group where you have a, I'm going to say this sincerely, let me slow down and take a breath because I need you to hear this real quick. You have a family of people that are there to support you, answer questions, point you in the right direction, and also myself. Because here's what I'm asking you to do. Because I, add, I, I gave so much value, I feel 100% confident and free to say and ask you in a call to action, if you are a person who is in business or has a passion and wants to really, sincerely, get your message out to your niche, the masses in your niche, uh, and turn the niches into riches, get your passion out there so other people can join your cause, uh, realize your dream and your vision, and you've been just looking for a vehicle, I'm telling you that you found it. Within the Power Network, there are a whole suite of other products. Uh, I own it. I own three. I own the Viral Blogging System, the Costa Rica Intensive, and the 15K Formula, uh, which are invaluable because most people in this world pay a whole lot more money than what I pay for it. Um, I'll keep that a secret so you can be surprised when you see You're like, oh, that's it. Um, so this blogging system, the Viral Blogging System, is a solution to your problem. One, it's plug and play. You customize it. You add banners. You make it your own. You can actually, which I did, I mapped my own domain name, which is fatherpreneurship.com, so I can post it on social media outlets and uh, LinkedIn, and which is, I'm talking about syndication now, which is going to be another uh, training. I got a little text message real quick to make sure. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, uh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> I lose my train of thought. Um, but yes, so I'll talk about syndication and the training because that's another valuable tool. But if you are ready, let me let me let me make this very clear. If you're tired like I was when I was on that bench in the Hartsford Jackson Airport of not being able to realize my dreams, do what I needed to do and be there for who I needed to be. If you're tired and you're ready to make a change for your business, so you can get automated income, so you can get um, you know uh, passive income, earning income part time. So you can leave alone these jobs that you wake up hating and dreading going to, that you wake up so tired like I was at one point, so tired that you would have rather died than continue to work. Then, then my friend, I'm asking you to join me in business and uh, buy the viral blogging system. 
There'll be a link under the video, or you can go to fatherpreneurship.info, like entrepreneurship with a father in the front, dot .info, um, and you'll be led to be able to join me today. It's only $25. That's way less than a dollar a day. I know you spend more than that on coffee, excuse me, at Starbucks, so let's be real about it. Uh, for that price, you get that much value, access to training for millionaires, uh, access to training um, that you're just not going to find anywhere else for that low of a price. Uh, so let's get busy. Let's get busy. And, you know, I hope I showed you how easy it was to blog, enter in an image, uh, make a headline tag, type in some information, and you've got a blog. It's not that hard. Just follow that. The, follow the information, the, the system, the PAS, and at the end, give a call to action like I did, like I just did right there. Hey, if you're tired of not earning a passive income, hey, if you're tired of not growing your business on auto, auto, uh, autopilot, then use this tool and solve your problems. Join me in business. It's it's simple. So I'm, a, I'm a, it's, I've been spending like 30 something minutes. I don't want to keep you up all night or whenever you're watching this. I don't want to take too much time out of your day. What I hope is you will at least join my email list at fatherpreneurship.info so you can continue to get updates on training, on how to join me in business, on how to use tools to market your business more effectively, and really how to just change your life, how to reconnect and be available, how to you know really work on yourself personally. There's a, one more saying I'll give to you before I end this, and that is you have to work on yourself harder than you work on your own business, which is personal development. That means you got to read books. That means you got to listen to audios of people that know what they're talking about. You know, uh, motivational speakers like Les Brown, uh, books like Think and Grow Rich, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Motivated People. I read the Bible on a regular basis every day. Whatever it is that you need to read and hear that's going to change your mindset. Because before, before that incident, before my, my, my family members passed away, you couldn't really have gotten me into the real entrepreneurial business. Because I was so set on working for somebody else, I've been trained to be the, uh, that, that employee mindset so deep, I couldn't break out of it unless something drastic happened. Don't wait until something drastic happens. Don't wait. Because like I said in the beginning, time is the most valuable commodity on this earth. Once you give it away, you can't give it back. I'd like to thank you for the time that you've given me. This is Rodney Kellum, Mr. Cillian Sincere, a.k.a. The Fatherpreneur. Get busy, take action, move today like your life depends on it, like your children's life depends on it, like your grandchildren's life depends on it, like that invention that's going to save somebody's life is just waiting to come to fruition. So let it loose into the world. It's not just yours. Your gifts are for some of, someone else to enjoy and to reap from. Sow it into the earth. Sow it into somebody today like I'm pouring myself out into you because I want to see you succeed so bad. Let's make it happen together. God bless, and I'll see you next time.